Hi friends, are you at risk for denaturalization? Are you at risk for being denaturalized? What is that exactly? I'm gonna talk about this very issue in this video. This is a hot issue right now because it is touching us US citizens. So stick with me, watch this video to find out whether you're at risk or whether you can simply relax. Stick with me. Denaturalization, that's a very big word. Let's break it down for a minute here. So as you know, you for those of you who've been following me, you are smart about immigration, okay? So I'm not gonna spend a great deal of time on what is denaturalization, but naturalization, as you know, is a process for an immigrant to become a US citizen. And so you must first have a green card, and then after five years, in most cases, you then become eligible to become a naturalized US citizen. Or for three years in cases of people who obtain their green card through marriage. What's happening today? So today, of course, we know we are living under a very aggressive executive, right? President Trump has determined to be very aggressive on immigration, and so he's going after a lot of different people. And now the big news is those folks who became a U.S. citizen after being ordered removed. This is a super important point for you to understand because I don't want you to be fearful if you're not at risk of being denaturalized. Who should be fearful today? Who should be quaking right now? Who should be trembling right now? And basically it is those people who were ordered removed or deported by an immigration judge but they did not leave the country or they may have left and came back under a different identity and the government just didn't catch up with them yet or they just simply changed their names, right? They just changed their identities when they were seeking naturalization. And so the government never connected the dots that didn't connect the dots to determine that these are the same people, the same individual who uh, was ordered deported back in 1999 potentially, is the same person who then became a naturalized citizen in 2005 under a different name. And how in the world can this happen? It happens because the government is made up of people, human beings, okay? Mistakes happen. And mistakes happen when you have human beings who don't have enough resources to track everything and make sure everything is okay and, and everything is in order, so to speak. So what's happened is, for any of you who have gone through any major immigration process, you know that you must go through biometrics, right? You must go get your fingerprints done and you must get a FBI background check, right? Based on your fingerprints, that's what the government is doing. It is doing an FBI background report on you. So these people, they did their fingerprints back in 1999, potentially. If they were ordered deported, but what happened was after they changed their identity along the way and they became a U.S. citizen, when they before they became a U.S. citizen, when they applied for citizenship, they had to go back in and do fingerprints again. And so the government failed in this regard. They did not connect the dots to determine that the person who submitted a fingerprint back in 1999 is the same individual who submitted an, a fingerprint in 2005 when they were going through the naturalization process. So yes, those are the people who the government has said that they will follow, they will prosecute, I should say. Is anyone else at risk? Maybe. You might be at risk if you, in fact, committed fraud to get your papers, okay? So if you committed fraud to get your papers, to get your green card, the government may drill down a bit further and find you. But if you did not commit any fraud in procuring your citizenship, you should not be fearful at this point. Is the government right to do this? Absolutely, yes. 
because other people have done the right thing. They waited, they paid all their fees, they did everything the government said to do, and they got it the right way, okay? So we should not be rewarding those who change their identities just to scam the government. Those are the people who are at risk for denaturalization. So if you did not change your identity to become a U.S. citizen, you should not be worried right now. So again, just to recap, denaturalization investigation is going on. It's going to take some time. Listen, I don't work for the government anymore, okay? but I used to work for the government back in the day. And so I know that government is slow. So this is gonna be a long process and they are doing it because they now have the money, they have the resources under President Trump to make this a priority. So don't worry if you're not the one who change his or her identity so that you can become a U.S. citizen. Not to worry. I hope this was helpful, guys. I appreciate you. I hope that you're finding value from my work. Please subscribe, hit that subscribe button and get my videos on a weekly basis and stay connected to me. I so appreciate you and I look forward to chatting with you again in my next video. Bye-bye.